I made a buy from an undercover cop. And then this detective comes along and says, there's a way I don't get charged with a felony. She talks about you, Jay, and the danger you're in at your family's. No, no, no. I was not in any danger until you got me to talk on a wire. Josh, this detective has been investigating your family a long time. Like, if I don't give her more soon, she's going to know something's changed, and I'm going to go to jail. That's your problem. Ooh. Welcome back to the zoo. We have my good friend, actually. We met in Groundlings Improv School. Here we are acting, wow. living the dream. Ellen Rowe from Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. So good to have you. That yeah, was thanks very for having me. Deep clip. Um, before we get into it, though, I'm going to give Dennis the opportunity to seat us. Yes, darling. You know, at the count of three, we are all going to sit down and scream in unison, "Hua!" Do you understand? I understand. Okay, I'm darling. Excited. One, yeah. two, three. Hua! Oh, let's do the So, first of all, what's Animal Kingdom about? Okay, so it's uh, a drama on TNT mm -hmm. about a family in Oceanside, California, which is like near San Diego. Um, run by this powerful, kind of scary matriarch and named Smurf, who's played by Ellen Barkin. Mm. Um, so Ellen lives with, or Smurf lives with her four grown sons, and uh, they kind of are outside of the law a little bit, and you start to see them through Jay, the grandson, whose mother just died and moves in with his grandma and is finding out all about this family. Oh, juicy. So it's very intense. And who do you play? I play Jay's physics teacher named Alexa Anderson. <laughs> and over the course of the season, we get a little close, um, potentially inappropriate ways. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Hi. Hi. Yeah. You animal you. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> this is a TNT show. Where can we see it? Like, what, what's the timings? Um, it's on Tuesdays, 9, 8 central. Mm -hmm. um, you can also watch it on demand. You can get it from, um, you can buy it from iTunes as well. Perfect. So Perfect. it's all over there. How was it playing a school teacher? Because I'm sure, maybe, I don't know if that's your first role as a, as a teacher, but I've always wondered how I'd be, you know, in a, in a teacher mode, because I've had so many teachers but never taught myself. It was interesting because I really wanted to be, like, the cool teacher, you know? <laughs> Um, but I really only had one teaching class in okay. episode two. It was like teaching a little bit of physics, which of course I forgot completely about. Yeah. So I had to go back and be like, wait, what am I saying? What's this formula? So, yeah. Animal Kingdom. Well, we were talking about animals before with all this um, circus conversation. So what is the animal part of the show, you would say? It's almost everything. Like every single storyline is just raw and gritty and uncomfortable mm. almost. So do actors like act instinctively all the time, like as animals do? I think it's like I want to do this. Rawr, I want to do that. Rawr, I think actually the reason why they named it, and this is just me guessing, but they named it Animal Kingdom because Ellen Barkin's character. I mean, that family rules Oceanside. They oh. are the lion of that jungle. Got right? it. They're Ooh, Mufasa, that's a good one. right there. They're Mufasa. <laughs> The lion of the jungle. Good die. stuff. Yeah, I knew, I knew what you were thinking. Free! A free lion in the yeah. jungle. Does uh, uh, Ellen Barkin, does she have the same kind of reign behind the scenes? Is she, uh, you know, Ooh. just keeping things on tab, you know, yeah, when the cameras aren't rolling? I actually, I don't have any scenes with her. Oh, so, you gotta request one. I, well, yeah. <laughs> you gotta go not, to give, not to give too much away, but eventually she might have something to talk to you about if she finds out, right? Am I, I just, am I giving too much away from the phone? I don't wanna give anything okay, away. Okay, okay. But I will say that I, I got to see her at every table read, right. okay. and she is fierce. Whoa. Yes, she is a, a fierce actor in the, in the best sense. Got it. So, but I never actually got to act in a scene with her. Mm. Who's gonna play Hillary Clinton in a movie? Her or Meryl Streep? <laughs> I think Meryl Streep. Yeah, yeah. She has to be in charge. Come on. You don't yeah. beat Meryl. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm interested because I know you as a comedian, uh, but you had a pretty deep role, a uh, lot of emotion. How did you prepare as an actress for uh, the emotion, the depth? Yeah, of it was a little outside my comfort zone, but I was so excited about it. Um, there's a. I guess I can give it away because it's already aired. Um, I'm a high-functioning heroin addict, Whoa. and I don't know much about heroin, as you know, uh, Ellen. You, don't? So no. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? It was a lot of trying to figure that out. So I mean, I just read and and watched everything I could get my hands on to figure out like more about addiction. Right. So that was a huge component. Um, and then I, I worked with some acting coaches that I trust, and and it was hard, but it was 
trust the rogue's I mean, such an amazing part. So it's true. Trust so is big, like in things like that, because you gotta just write it. Yeah. And you just gotta. All right, I'm gonna go for <laughs> it. Will you help me with this ODing scene, yeah. please? You know, like you gotta have someone you trust to do. Do that. you like comedy or do you like drama more? Because I've seen your comedic stuff and it's hilarious. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but then going to this is like the complete opposite, you know? I I like both. I mean, they both fulfill specific, you know, needs, if you will, of my personality. Um, I I love comedy, but it, this was such an amazing experience, and I would love to do it again. How did you, tell me the story of how you guys met. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring it up, go for it. <laughs> so, we're, we're in the Groundlings school together, improv school, um, take different courses, and eventually perform. So we met in a class, and it's funny, because I was just talking about how I'm going to host a show, and that's why I wanted to practice improv. And toward the end of the class, she was like, oh, I just booked a show, I'm super psyched about getting it. And, those were the two shows. So <laughs> Animal Kingdom was her show. The zoo is my show. Now we're on our shows doing the damn thing. And yeah. they're both about animals. Yeah, they're both about animals. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's planning this? Who's planning this? Synchronicity. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. It was a beautiful reunion, though. Because so beautiful. Ellen's great. So touching. She's funny. She's deep. She's emotional. I'm so deep. <laughs> So was there, I, I want to know, because like, I'm a little bit curious, is there any comedic parts um, that you bring into your character on the Animal Kingdom, or is it all drama, specifically mm. like dark drama addiction? Yeah, I blah, don't blah, think blah. I get one joke. <laughs> no, I mean, this girl is going through some bad stuff. Yeah. Like, I, and in the previous episode last Tuesday, like, she hits rock bottom. Oh. There's no laughing. <laughs> but heroin's like hilarious, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> no. no. Not. Well, it sounds like fun to be able to explore those parts of yourself. I mean, that's yeah. the, the to me, that's what acting is all about, to get to explore those areas yeah. that you would never explore as a normal, regular human being yeah. as Ellen. So, totally, and I, mean, I think it makes you more of an empathetic person. I mean, I knew nothing about addiction before this, nothing. And now, I mean, hopefully I won't know much more. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky, don't learn more. <laughs> it, I just think it makes you a better, more well-rounded person, and you can understand what someone else might be going through. So you stop judging so much when you see someone, let's say, on the street going on their thing, because they go like this or something, no, when it's too high, don't they? The um, so with an opiate, or with heroin at least, from what I learned, it, yeah, you, you nod off. So it's like you're falling asleep. Yeah, I, I did see a lot of that when I was living in New York. Ooh. And I remember just thinking, wow, I mean, this is like a big deal. But of course, once you get to read and know about it, you stop judging because you understand <laughs> yeah. more. Where well, they you come understand from. the pathway to it. It's, it's actually not that hard to get into it because so many of our pain medications are so oh, yeah. highly addictive. I mean, uh. our doctors are giving people oxy. All right, True. guys, we are going to get Whoa. back into it after the commercial break <laughs> because we've got more with Ellen Rowe and later the music of, oh, excuse me, the music of Edson and Don't Stray. This is the zoo. <laughs> We are back here on the zoo with Ellen Rowe from TNT's Animal Kingdom. Now, Ellen, um, at the top of the show, we were asking, is chivalry dead and why? So I wonder, as a woman, what, what's your opinion on that? Do you, is chivalry dead? Are men still gentlemen? Should they still be gentlemen? I think they definitely should still be gentlemen. They should I'm, still be gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. this is a great question. Okay. I'm so happy you asked it. Uh, no, I'm from Texas, so mm -hmm. I grew Take up notes. with like, yes ma'am, no sir, right. opening the door. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that's extremely important. Yeah. So, um, I think it, maybe it's dead in certain regions, but it's right. not dead where I come from. There you go. Yeah. And that's a good thing. So I'm bringing it to L.A. <laughs> yeah. I'm bringing it to L.A. <laughs> Bring it back, people. That's so awesome. you're from Texas, correct? Yes. Austin? Mm -hmm. So I would like to know a little bit about your move to L.A. Was that like you decided to be an actor and then you're like, I'm going to go to California? Or was that gradual with family? Mm. or? It was more like, so I was graduating high school and I was like, I really think I want to do this acting thing, but I don't want to fully commit. So I moved to uh, LA to go to USC for college. Mm -hmm. Studied math and economics, but on all my spare okay. time tried acting and uh, eventually made my way. Nice. So it was awesome. kind of like a halfway. I hear you, girl. <laughs> I did international business management and here I am. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Did you Fine. take any, were there any drama classes at all at, at USC or just? Yeah, I took my electives. Okay, because okay. they have a great classes. performing arts oh, school. Oh, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Can you talk to me about Hey Babe? Oh my God, you watched it. I love it. It's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, it's somewhat autobiographical based on really? my relationship with my boyfriend, Mike. Is it the same guy that's with you in the sketch? No, he's oh. not an actor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it great. actually was his idea, okay. which is funny enough. With your actual boyfriend? My actual boyfriend. Uh -huh. um, last year I went through this phase where I asked a bunch of people for clothes that they were giving away. So I'm like going through all of these outfits and Mike is watching TV and I'm like, hey babe, hey babe, oh. hey babe, do you like this? And like every single outfit, I'm like, hey babe, hey, hey babe. 
And he, at one point he was just like, I don't care. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> that was aggressive. This might be something, yeah. yeah. He was like, this is your next sketch, except my head should have exploded. So I was like, this, you're exactly right. This is my next sketch. So we wrote like 13 scripts, wow. shot six of them. Or seven of them. Wow. And um, yeah, it's just like the, the insignificant things that happen with your significant other that right. make you want to kill now, each other. Is this a viral video, a sketch video on the internet, or is this? Mm -hmm. a... It's on my, my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to And what is your YouTube watch channel that? so that people can find it? Uh, it's Eroh06 or Ellen underscore Row. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Try either or. Either maybe one or two. Both. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and I, the one thing that I do love about you is that mm. even looking at your own website, you never take yourself seriously. Like you poke so much fun at yourself, even oh. like your resume <laughs> and all that stuff. Why is that? I just love self-deprecating humor. I don't know. I just I, it's probably a family thing. Like my mom doesn't take herself very seriously either. And every time I call home and I'm like, oh, I had an audition. They're like, okay, you're probably not gonna get it. Like they're, everyone's just so. Honest, and Debbie I love Downer. that. Yeah. So, how was it when you did get it for the Animal Kingdom? Um, what was the reaction? They're pretty excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> were they screaming? When my mom they're doesn't above. scream when I get something, I get pissed. Your so, were they like? Ah! If she screams? No, I do. But if she doesn't, then I get mad. I don't oh. know if she screamed. <laughs> she screamed once for something I booked, and it was like the best feeling ever. So I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. For this one, I kind of I was like, Mom, I booked something, but. It's really intense, and like I'm gonna have to do a lot of potentially bad things. And she was like, "Okay." How bad do oh, you yeah. get in the series? Do you have like a lot of sexual scenes, and you or know, no? It's I do, but it's done in a very tasteful, well done way. And I'm not just saying that because I had to do it. it they re the writers really did me a humongous favor of writing such a complex person who's doing these bad things. Right. <laughs> For a reason that, honestly, if I was in her position, I might do the same thing. Right. Wait, what do you mean? What's, is there something more that you can tell us about the position that you're in? Um, <laughs> better like, what I is the position? I feel like I can't the clip with you show, show, so I'm not giving yeah. you Ah, I see. Yeah, she, I got caught, or my character got caught buying from an undercover cop, buying heroin. Mm. So this detective is blackmailing me uh. into informing on this kid, wow. and he thinks I'm flirting with him, and she's uh. like, well... Okay. And I'm like, what? Are you asking me to sleep with a kid? And she's like, I'm not saying not to. But she clearly is saying to. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm being blackmailed to have this relationship with this kid, right? So I feel so guilty, which makes me hate myself even more, which Ugh. makes me OD. So it's right. just all very dark. Whoa. Well, we might, we I love might dark. blackmail you if you don't uh, do our next segment because it is oh. called Follow, Unfollow Everyone. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Coming up, uh, this radio VJ from Connecticut named Gary Craig uh, versus Latino culture. Do we have the video? Check this video out. He went to a Latino fest uh, up in Connecticut and he had this reaction. I wanted to go down to the riverfront and see what was going on. I, I walked into some kind of parallel universe or something. I, what the hell? What is this? I don't know what the hell this is. So he, <laughs> he has just never been around the bunch of Latinos. I was about to say, what happened? If you see the has rest of this video, he has no. And if you, if you see the rest of the video, you just have to see all these Puerto Rican people just eating them, just, just eating them. Just I feel like that's Stoop food. Kid. He's like Stoop Kid from Hey Arnold. He's never left his stoop. He's I'm like going to assume that we're all going to unfollow him. Unfollow. Yes, okay. please. Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't understand the parallel universe. Yes, you were saying. Coming up kind next, funny, though. Uh, we have the... We, uh, House Speaker Paul Ryan, he took a picture with his interns, and mm. then a, uh, oh, yeah. a Democratic representative whose name we don't have on my cue card also took a picture of their interns to compare. Uh, check this out. Uh, here's Paul Ryan's. So if you see the pictures, Paul Ryan, the Republican candidate, uh -huh. pretty much, I would say, 99% of those interns are white. And oh, then when you look at the other Democratic, it's much more diverse. There's all kinds of people. Uh, who are you going to follow? I know, we're putting you on the spot. Yeah, we're, we're basically like, basically like, there's very no. Very political. Um, I'm probably not gonna follow either of them. Ooh. Good. Okay. Good, why? Give me a good. I just, I, this, this whole election is just making me feel gross, so. <laughs> Tell me more. I, no, no, no. <laughs> Tell me more. It. He's getting turned on, honey. He's getting turned on. No, no more, no yeah. more. Out. Um, <laughs> Listen, nobody has to force you into it. anything. Yeah. Remember no that. Force. It's yeah. your choice. It's my but choice. please, it's even your choice not to make the choice. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna vote. Okay, okay. I'm gonna vote. Yeah. Thank I'm you. just not gonna probably follow a lot of um, things. Go ahead. Yeah, just you know, write me in. I was born yeah. in this country. I think I I'm eligible. Um, <laughs> last uh, something follow lighter. And follow. Okay. Dogs Give us something. versus cats. What kind of person are you? Um, That's very light. I am a dog person. 
I would say. <laughs> look at that cat in the burrito. Oh, the look at that cat. doggy. So, so cute. cute. Wow, they picked the cutest possible picks. Then, yeah, yeah, I don't know. That, I, that, I might follow that cat. See, then, to be honest you with know you. what? I'm yeah. gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna throw you a bone. Like, uh, no pun intended, considering we're talking about dogs. But you said you weren't gonna follow either of the choices before, so I'm gonna now give you the opportunity to follow both dogs and cats. Oh, that's so sweet. I'll follow both of them then. <laughs> thank you. Right, it's right, like, good. thank you for the no, opportunity. That was, yeah, that was follow and follow. <laughs> thank you very much. And by the way, we're looking for a sponsor. <laughs> for like dog Anyone? Dogs and stuff. FYI. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, Ellen, thank you so much for joining us today, yeah. darling. Thank you for thank having you, me. Alan. Thank you, Ellen. Best of luck on Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>